were extremely frustrated, you know, and to, uh, to play as well we did, uh, four tries to two, uh, and still come out losers at the end. Uh, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking for us, and, and uh, we've, um, we've got to really, uh, we've got to work a lot harder and be a lot more precise so that uh, things like this don't happen again. Because um, um, pretty, uh, pretty tired of losing. Talk about the simple, the simple things, right? Yeah. That was something that we've played this team in the past. Is it just again just another case of that having to drill it more and more to the guys in practice training? It's just simple things a little support. I think uh, you know, that side of things, getting those simple things right, worked very well for us. Um, I think you know, defensively we had a few lapses, you know, that, that, that try by in seven minutes. It was, uh, it was almost a bad thing. But uh, it's fair play to the boys, especially when uh, you know, Aaron and DJ uh, kept driving us forward and uh, brought us down the road over to the end of the end. Uh, Gave us a good chance to win it. Must be happy with the fight of the boys in that, in that last push. You know, it, it looked like it looked over like at 26 17. Oh, of course. And uh, like I said, we stayed in our systems and we worked hard together. And uh, we almost came out on top. So uh, that's a huge bonus for us. It's huge for us. We're going to bring that in next week. And uh, hopefully we can knock off the Russians to Saturday and Calgary. Jamie, when we talked a couple weeks ago, you talked about how uh, Russia is still a program in its, in its infancy. What things do you take out of this test match today and apply that to the game next week against the Russians? Um, well, we've got to do a lot of the same things. We've got to be, uh, as I said, more precise in certain areas, definitely in defense. Because uh, I've played Russia a few times and uh, they're a lot like the Americans maybe you know, seven or eight years ago. They've got a lot of big, strong athletes and uh, maybe lack a little bit of rugby knowledge, but uh, they're catching up really fast, especially uh, with rugby not being an Olympic sport. We've got to put a lot of money into it. We've got some good coaches over there, and uh, we've got to be uh, we've got to be very careful. Next week. Jamie, I'm wondering if you can uh, comment on what it's like to captain the national team in a decent place. Uh, whether that was something you ever imagined when you started playing competitively? Uh, no, definitely not. Um, I'm extremely honored um, to see uh, all the all the men that have come ahead of me, uh, you know, notably uh, Al Sharon, who was uh, kind of a, a mentor and a big uh, influence in my early career. To follow behind guys like that uh, is huge for me, and um, you know, I'm uh, extremely honored to, to have the, the privilege to lead these boys out. And uh, seeing what they did uh, for the majority of the game, and uh, definitely those last 10 minutes, uh, I'm extremely proud of them. And Jamie, another question that is building on the theme of playing here at BC Place: uh, Rugby at the uh, the 15s, the 7s is starting to percolate through up through the sporting consciousness in Canada. Have you seen that? Uh, how have you seen that? Uh, witnessed it over the last couple of weeks in camp and today and the last couple of days in Vancouver training. Yeah, well, it's been huge. Uh, obviously, with the, the success of the Sevens uh, in March, it was, uh, it was amazing. And uh, seeing all these fans out today was huge. And there's been, uh, there's been some real excitement in the week. Uh, you know, there's some stories in the paper and uh, seeing uh, the, uh, the posters everywhere uh, advertising the game. So that's been really great for us. And playing venues like this is exactly what we need. Uh, People see the product that's so awesome, and uh, it's, a, it's a great product, a great game. And, uh, Vancouver's a big sporting uh, town with the Lions, with the Canucks next door. And uh, if we can get uh, 15s and 7s playing here more regularly, I think uh, the fans are really going to get behind it.